You know, I really hate this that you people think that the idea of a weight tree is efficient. This is a flawed way of thinking that even men in caves realized because the travel of one singular weight tree to the plates in your hands to either side of the barbell takes off 14.7 kilograms of your max squat. That is why Leonardo da Vinci himself designed a power rack with plate storage on either side or the half rack with plates so that way the travel from the plates of the pin to your hands to the sleeve of the barbell on either side is with maximum safety and efficiency. The power rack is designed with a pin of not one inch but of 49.99 millimeters at an angle of 15 degrees so that there's no slop and that precision is needed. That way only capable people are able to take the plates off the power rack. The calibrated plate is designed with a lip the lip is so precise the lip is so precise that regular people with their four fingers and their two thumbs and their eight fingers and the two hands and one butthole cannot handle them that's why it requires precision of a tongue and a tip in order to loosen the plate from the pin A hand skill that I learned over the many years is so advanced that it surpasses the tip to tongue technique. It requires four fingers and a thumb and a firm spin to loosen the plate from the other plate on the pin. That way it presents itself to four fingers, eight fingers and two thumbs so you can firmly take the plate and take it off the pin to the sleeve of the barbell on the power rack. So with two thumbs and eight fingers I take the plate and I only have to move it not more than two feet to get it back to the pin. That way it's secure and I won't drop it on my two toes, my head or your head and everything is secure with minimal energy expenditure. The developers of the Rogue facility in Ohio developed the calibrated plates with ugly stickers. This ugliness is built into the equipment to secure a proper loading of the barbell. If the need for aesthetics is very high, what we can do is face the plate on the barbell in the opposite direction. Only provided that there's an other plate to cover this up. For this we use the good old spin. We slide the plate onto the sleeve of the barbell exposing the ugly stickers. We need to cover it up with another plate so that aesthetically we have the best design possible. In conclusion, with the lip of the calibrated plate so small that it serves no purpose, we cannot go but the route of aesthetics in order to load the barbell properly.